it has been a very long request that we are able to add data over time directly in the pivot table without you having to make an indicator or a program indicator. Sounds relatively simple. It's a really important use case, especially for immunization, where you have totals, uh, number of children being uh, immunized every month, doses being distributed every month, and you want to compare those running totals against, say, your, your uh, annual targets. So let's just go over to that. I think I have to go to this one. Probably have to update real here, quick. All right, I'm going to go into everyone's favorite data visualizer application. I'm going to switch over to, oh, I need to zoom out a bit. Pivot table. I am going to search for doses. I'm then going to go to just my data elements, turn on all of these data elements that are all of my immunization doses, click update. So now you see that I have all my doses in the columns and in the rows I have each month. I'm going to switch my rows and columns. Update. So now you see I have each month number of doses for each immunization. Now to get cumulative values is very simple. I just go to options, data, cumulative values, and update. So now you see that the, out, the values are actually aggregating over time. If, if I'm getting a clap for that one, then what's up next is going to be, <laughs> you, guys, you guys are going to be on your feet. <laughs> but that one was a long time request, so we're, we're glad we finally got to it. 